Hello everyone, this is THD. And this is Anton64. And welcome to the HFC playthrough of EcoQuest 1, The Search for Cetus, a uh, adventure game created by Sierra Entertainment in 1991. Now, you would think that uh, a game like this uh, coming from when I was a kid, I would have a lot of history with. No, I have actually not played this game as a kid, but you know, going back to it, I have found many compelling reasons to play this for the channel. <laughs> But um, I know you, Tom, in particular, you have wanted to do more point-and-click adventure ones. This one is an edutainment game. It's significantly easier. There isn't, like, a lost state you can do. But, like I said, there are several compelling reasons to play. Well, now we can bore and annoy people. So, you know, it's a twofer. But uh, not the game I would have chosen to do next. If I was, like, recording the next point-and-click, it would have been King's Quest. Because I like that kind of medieval shenanigans. But Hell Dragon has repeatedly said this one's ripe for riffing. And seeing as... <laughs> e Echo here is doing his dolphiny thing. I'll take his word for it. Some of this I will have to uh, please ask for forgiveness on uh, how this is recorded. Some of it is actually because the game has a terrible frame rate and dissolve uh, in this opening intro. So please bear with me if it looks weird. All right, the sound isn't that great, even though this is Sound Blaster, the best one you can use. So I apologize. It took me a moment to realize that was a net. I thought it was like spaghetti or something. When I first saw it, I was like, huh, that looks like an overhead view in Google Maps, because it kind of looks like the streets. Ah, uh, yes, the island of sand and grass. So great failure music here, I mean, man. <laughs> it's not quite the Sonic Unleashed, like, uh, E-rank music, but uh, it's close. Alright, here we go. This is why we had to do this game, you'll see. Join that volleyball voice acting oh it's one of those games and you know you pitching this as like a positive aspect where you realize we talk over things for a living right that's true but uh <laughs> i think when you hear some particular voices you'll see why i picked this now um obviously this was those proto days before uh, voice acting became standardized so a lot of the voice acting is huh <laughs> it's certainly hmm all right yeah, uh, I believe this may have been another one of those games where Sierra employees and, you know, children alike were tapped into doing voice acting. This is the CD-ROM version of the game, which I had to fucking finagle to record uh, naturally here. Uh, the thing about DOSBox is it records in a really small uh, resolution, so I've had to blow it up and things like that. But I had to do it to get the voice acting. Without giving too much of the game away, like literally and metaphorically, what is EcoQuest about? EcoQuest is basically you're playing as uh, this kid here, Adam, and you're gonna go on an amazing ecological adventure to learn about uh, the kind of things mankind tends to do to the environment and how we can do our part to clean it up. It's very, it's very third grade-ish when you think about it. Is the final puzzle the BP oil spill? <laughs> something like that, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see something like that later. But um, what we just heard here is the uh, narrator throughout most of the game. She sucks at it? <laughs> she... Easy now, pal. I was trying to identify this guy, and for a moment, uh, when I had first played this, I thought it was the voice actor for Graham in King's Quest V. It's not, it's a separate guy, but really, I can fucking tell. Yeah, I love that guy, actually. Now, you notice back there, uh, he was asking about, um, you know, whether the bird will die. Uh, you know, when they remove oils and things like that. Adam here has actually been working hard. He has a, we'll find this out later, he has a 50-hour course in animal husbandry and rescue techniques. Nice. The dude is fucking certified. He's like 12, man. I love that, like, slight distortion on the voice acting. It makes it seem... Mmm, it's that retro charm, I guess, to me. I love it, too. It's fucking pure 90s shit right here. And... Yeah, it may uh, seem like it's just my bad recording. No, the CD audio really is that bad. I mean, this was early on. I'm going to forgive it because of the time. Nowadays, we have it more clear. But here, you can clearly tell it's not optimal sound quality. I'm hoping we actually get to go outside this room, because so far, I'm not really all that excited. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll get a chance. But uh, first off, we have to investigate our surroundings and help Dad do his fucking work while he goes to another meeting. 
quite novel playing as a kid. You know, in any other Sierra game, you'd probably like play as the dad. Well, I mean, it's better in that case because here he has protection from the typical Sierra death trap bullshit that happens in all the other games. You know. True. True. Like nobody is going to be dumping Adam on spikes anytime soon. Thanks. <laughs> Isn't that already a game on the PS One? Well, a game where you fall in the spikes over and over? <laughs> well, something like that. I think it's like Heart of Darkness or something. I may be remembering the wrong game. And speaking of that, actually, when you first brought up EcoQuest, I was thinking of another game. I think it's called Evo, The Search for Eden, where you like you play as like um some sort of like single-celled organism and you gradually like evolve and like you do different platforming stuff. Yeah, most people would think of Evo, which is honestly a more entertaining game. Why aren't we playing that then? But that sounded like work, so I wanted something I could do easy. Yeah, let me finagle this really complicated PC recording instead. Good stuff. The Rainforest book by Scott. And uh, you know, mentioning books here, that first book uh, Adam mentioned that was included in the box uh, with the original box of uh, EcoQuest. I don't have it on hand. I can't uh, read that Let's Play to you. You know what I'm saying? DLC back in the olden days it was just a book you could read and it came with the thing. Well, there is copy protection for this game. This door right here actually needs a code. Yes, please ignore that. Hmm. That has nothing to do with everything. You'll see my mouse flip out a lot during this playthrough <laughs> with some of the stuff we encounter. But um, with the door, yes, that is uh, protected by a, a password system. Um, this one, you know, I don't have to worry about it so much, but that was that archaic system of copy protection before they used shit like DRM, which is crap anyway. Adam Green. Really? Yeah, that's a pretty creative name. <laughs> really? Oh, he loves the environment. Let's just give him the name of Green. What's his sister? Like, Ava loves the animals or something? That's a weird middle name. Yeah, I'm just gonna strain here for that kind of reference. Now, a lot of these I am looking at just to get points because I guess learning is great. That's a good point, actually. A lot of Sierra games, but I guess point and click games in general, tend to have like some kind of points system, and if you get them all, you have done a perfect run. Will you be doing a perfect run? No. I didn't fucking care enough. I will be getting most of them. I think there's like one or two things I missed I didn't do right or I didn't do accurately. I don't give a shit. There's your incentive to play the game, guys. No, I didn't play the goldfish correctly. Yeah, we're going to have to take off 50 for that. I'm sorry. If you get a perfect ending, you actually get an epilogue which reveals that Adam here is actually Aqualad as a young boy. <laughs> I've seen fan art of him like posing with mermaids and like an epic stature. Doesn't look very good, but still. Adam attaches the full water bottle to the gerbil cage. The gerbil thanks its lucky stars that a human has taken pity on it. Oh, you'll see how it thanks him. You fucking what, mate? <laughs> 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 I had a lot of fun recording this because of the stupid shit I keep encountering in this game, so I just kind of flip out with my mouse. I was actually expecting it to be a lot more dull, but it's kind of quaint and quirky. As surprisingly enough, this game is actually more realistic than the sequel. I just want you to let that sink in for a little bit. Well, that doesn't really mean anything to me, because I haven't played the sequel. Maybe we'll get to it down the line. I don't know yet. I just think this one personally appears to be in that kind of crazy cartoony way, you know? Now, I am looking at this not just for points, but because this will actually come into play later, believe it or not. Seagulls! Aw. Seagulls will come into play later, believe it or not. No, they won't. Yeah, uh, after Defender of the Future, Eco has had a bad time. Slow circles. The vet says that it has capture stress syndrome. Oh, someone tried to catch it with a Pokeball? That's not on. Yeah, that's terrible, man. They didn't even use a quick ball or nothing. All helpers treat the dolphin alike. Uh, talk to the dolphin, see if he's hungry, try swimming with him. Frisbees are on the counter. Number five, do not attempt to take over the world with the dolphin. Does, does that happen? That happened in Defender of the Future, didn't it? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Well, I know there was like an alternate future you can go to where dolphins ruled and think It was a weird fucking game. It's Echo the Dolphin, come on. I hope we're not planning to ride the boat in the swimming pool here. It seems a little bit crowded with the dolphin in there. I don't give a shit. This is my pool. I'll do what I want. Actually, I think when I was a kid on holiday in Spain and whatnot, there was like a kiddie ball and I had an inflatable like dinghy and you bet your sweet ass I took my inflatable dinghy in that crowded ass swimming pool. 
chows down on the mackerel. Yeah, I know this is all very exciting, but trust me, we're we're going somewhere with this, believe it or not. It's a slow burner, maybe. It's a slow burn, and about oh, 10 minutes or so, you're gonna see what's happening. You haven't watched this ahead of time, have you? No, I made sure not to. So, this should be interesting to see what comes up. The dolphin secretly wishes there was some cod in there. Well, the dolphin will eat whatever the fuck I give it, you know? It'll have to cope. Well, I guess he's done. No more! I suppose. That was a good fucking shot, wasn't it? Now you do have to do this in the right order, otherwise the dolphin gets pissed, he goes behind the gate and actually closes it on its own. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, it tears Adam limb from limb, but again, you cannot die in this game, apparently. It's true, although that does happen with dolphins, apparently. Oh. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing, man? The weird clicking sound means the dolphin is memorizing Adam by bouncing sound waves off him. It's just like real life. Is this scientifically accurate? Some of this is, yeah. Obviously, with what we're gonna see, not entirely, but there are some actually surprisingly good facts in this game. And then as we go on, we'll see how it handles the main conflict of the game in actually a respectful way, I admit. I actually have a bit of a soft spot for edutainment because, you know, what's better than education that's fun? You know, you, you, le you learn your facts and you have a good time doing it. Well, most of the time, most edutainment is complete fucking shit. I can say now, this game is actually pretty decent, even though I'm gonna be making fun of it a ton, because there is a lot to make fun of. But this game is not that bad, actually. So, you know, if you have a kid who might like this kind of shit, I think this game's okay. You know, give it a shot. We're just shilling for Sierra now, aren't we? Oh, poor Sierra, I miss you guys. You know, all of their game licenses are scattered everywhere, man. Space Quest, I don't even know what's going on with that anymore, to be honest. Well, there's that new point-click game coming from the two guys at Andromeda, isn't it? That's true. Well, it's got nothing to do with Space Quest, but it's pretty much a spiritual successor, so that'll be interesting. Rob Paulson is voicing the main character, I believe. Neat. That is pretty neato, yes. Hey, thanks. That was the greatest. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm gonna get paid 12 whole dollars for this role. He wants to play some He's frisky. That's a good sign. Mm, time to get out of the pool, Adam. <laughs> time to get out of the pool right fucking now. Do not look up Dolphins on Wikipedia. You'll thank me later. Adam takes With this right here, we're gonna play a bit of Frisbee. I think when you throw the Frisbee Adam back, and sometimes the narrator will put in her two fucking cents when you don't click the right way, but um, I think when you throw it back, I think you can catch it. I just think it's funnier that Adam just doesn't know what to do. <laughs> failure. F -f 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 failure. Like, look at the expression on his face. He doesn't even look interested at all. Like, oh, it's a dolphin, I guess. Please catch it this time. His blank stare is killing me. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the simple things. I love how the frisbee is labeled F for frisbee, just in case you didn't know what the fuck you were holding. Uh -huh. B for boat. Also for bucket, actually. <laughs> I bet Adam goes out in a shirt that says A for Adam on it. Uh -huh. <laughs> if he ever wears a shirt, that must be like a secret costume you can, you can unlock. Oh, here we go. All right. Now we're going to see how the stakes have changed. He's going to throw it outside the boundaries, isn't he? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? I am not. Not I... at all. No, I am completely serious. I thought you were just going to go about learning about coral reefs and shit, but nope, here's a talking dolphin. Well, if there isn't a talking dolphin, then the kids aren't going to pay any attention, are they? Uh, even Echo talked telepathically. He didn't, like, open his mouth and go, Hey, hey, kids, how's it going? By the way, uh, the person who plays the dolphin here is absolutely fucking terrible at their job. It is a kid, and I know what you're thinking. Wow, when did Lucy from Peanuts become a voice actor in a video game? <laughs> oh. But no, this is a girl, and um, she's not very good at her job. <laughs> Delphinius! Fuck you, I'm not calling you that. Is that racist towards, like, dolphins? Is that a stereotypical dolphin name? I don't know all the time. I'm friends with dolphins, I don't personally know. Okay, so Cetus is the Great Well King, and he's who we're searching for in this game. Yeah, pretty much, uh, the search for Cetus, that's what the game is called. I also speak tuna and some of the more obscure coral dialects. God, I hate you, Delphinius. This is a load of bullshit. It pretty much is, yeah. <laughs> expression never changes. Listen to this. Oh, no. 
Good transition. Doesn't that sound like Lucy from Peanuts? I don't think I've ever actually watched Peanuts, like a whole episode all the way through. Well, you know, like the Charlie Brown Christmas special, that's what she reminds me of. All oh, the parents would go like, wah, 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 wah. No, I meant Lucy. Okay. Also, uh, Adam's voice actor is not that great either. That's me all over. Just rushing straight ahead, not looking where I'm going. Reading the script with reckless abandon. <laughs> yep, that's me, Delphinius the Dolphin. How are you doing? <laughs> Oh, Tom. <laughs> oh, hell, dragon. What's worse than... Oh, well, death, I guess. Bloody stop fucking talking and get out in the ocean and search for Cetus already. Well, he can't... Oh, oh, wait, wait, look at this. Hello. <laughs> Jeez, no! Click off it, click off it, click off it now! I can't. It has to end on its own. Wow, things just changed at a remarkable speed. And that's why I picked EcoQuest. This is the game, ladies and gentlemen, and it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, see, he was locked in there. That's why he couldn't leave. Okay. He said you were almost ready anyway, so he wouldn't mind. No, no, I think he's gonna mind a little that you let go of the dolphin early. That That's drunk off his ass like 24-7 anyway. He's not gonna miss another dolphin. Yeah, this is what I love. He lets Delphinius go, go, and in a minute, we're gonna see a week has passed. How did Adam explain this to his dad? I won't forget you either, Dolphinius. Good luck. And that's the game. He just pretty much goes off and finds Cetus on his own. He wishes he was going with him. He also wishes he was a dolphin too. Being a human sure is boring. Just waves at the wall. Bye, wall. Days later. Well, days, weeks, whatever. I wish I could go to school. <laughs> I really wish I remembered the password for that DRM. I can't get back into the other room. And you thought the first image was good, by the way? Hmm. Who could that be? <laughs> I'm coming for you, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> That's something you don't want to see down a dark alley on a Friday night. Let's go on an adventure, Adam. <laughs> it's a sea adventure. It looks like he's got a friggin' pompadour, the way you've <laughs> positioned the cursor over Delphinius. <laughs> he's super cool. Slow down. Take your time. Can I read this any slower? I love the expressions on Adam, because he always looks like he does not believe what's going on. Like, wow, guys. A healthy dose of skepticism is always helpful in these games where crazy things happen. Human lungs could never last where we'd be going. Well, that's true. I think I'll be dead of laughter by the end of this. <laughs> it's like they discovered the English language for the first time. Wow, this is great. We should make a game using this shit. Now, there's like a propeller I was supposed to look at here according to the guide I was using. I didn't find it. I didn't give a shit, so I just moved on. Yeah, Hell Dragon doesn't play by guides rules. I just did a pure, straight run-through. I'm not looking at stuff, just like with Space Quest and all of them. So, you know, if you want to look at stuff when you play the game, be my guest. Oh, we're not going to be able to see the secret ending where Delphidius goes into space and Adam dies in the <laughs> vacuum of it. Look, the less time I spend with you, Delphinius, the better. There's no, no sense in trying that, Helldragon. I hate that shit, though. Like, sometimes I'm trying to click where I need to go and the fucking game doesn't recognize it. Adam empties his pockets. I gotta get rid of my hunting knife. Good thing he came with shorts today, you know? Ten hours later. <laughs> Just suiting up gradually. You notice he's not carrying his uh, oxygen his tank with him. Mask and jumps into the water. Listen to this line read. You lead the way for a while, Adam. I'm still trying to get my sea legs back. Ha ha. Ha <laughs> ha! This fucking game, I swear. The great majestic vastness of the open sea. Ha ha! <laughs> so I told you it was fucking BP, assholes. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's uh, well, it's not exactly it's not exactly oil though. <laughs> Look at that mask. Call it bilge. It's no, no, it's their shit. <laughs> and I do mean everything. Literally everything. Where did they get this voice actor for Delphinius? I gotta know. Were they related to somebody? What's going on? Well, 
a dolphin probably had something that they could use to blackmail the producers. Such bad voice acting, especially in cases where they have to be loud or dramatic, it does not work. Da 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 Those babies were filled with helium too. I should know, being a dolphin. Wait, what are we actually looking at here? Did someone let a balloon go? Oh uh, yeah, those uh, balloons were let go by that person on the cruise ship, and yes, that'll come back later. Okay. So this game actually introduces a new unique uh, uh, icon compared to the, with the uh, standard tier icons of walk, talk, touch, things like that. This one has a recycle option in which you can recycle a uh, trash you find and gain additional points. Yes, it is that dorky. Why do you ask? Well, I would expect nothing less from a game called EcoQuest. You know, if you're going to entertain me, at least entertain me and educate me at the same time. Entertain me. I find you wanting. Through the garbage. Not gonna get the rest? Nope, fuck it, I got places to be. Another problem with this game is that sometimes it will not recognize particular spots you click on where you want to go. This will bite me in the ass later. Dive, Adam. We're close to the boundaries of my kingdom, Ilaria. What, was it Lantis copyright and also? <laughs> oh, yes, and no, I don't think you can go to that island in the background. Why even fucking put it there then? Well, just to break up the sea a little, I guess. Cockteasing dolphin bastard. But they sent me for help and I'm bringing it. I'm bringing hey, Delphinius, we need some help. Here is a human boy that has no idea what's going on. Thanks, Dolphin. Well, good thing I had this on me. You know, I think there's a spot in one of the King's Quest games, I think it may be five, where if you're out on the open sea and you take, like, the wrong path, you know, go from screen to screen, you're eaten by a gigantic sea dragon. Yeah, I don't think there are any of those in this game, although there are gigantic sea creatures that are unexpected. Oof. Fuck the ocean. Hashtag fuck the ocean. <laughs> the ocean's fucking scary, man. I will not deny that at all. Somebody found the piano for this segment. No, it's not that. I think there was something in that garbage we swam through. It interfered with my sonar. You know, my direction finding senses. I think you may need to cite your sources there, Delphinius. <laughs> what do you want to do? Source, I am a dolphin. <laughs> Clear a path for us, but it's gotten overgrown. Good lip sync on the fucking dolphin, though. Let's <laughs> give it a few moments to process. You know, I haven't been in the ocean this long before, but fuck it, I know my way. I imagine this game didn't take long to create, like art wise. Most of the screen is just blue. Well, no, no, there's a lot of stuff we'll actually encounter, like this right here, this clusterfuck. There's a lot of interesting uh, sea locations, actually. It's kind of nice. Just give it a few moments to load the next segment of this challenging maze. So we're heading to the Dolphin City now. Yes, we're heading to Aluria, which I'm pretty sure the voice actress had to say three times before they got that right. Of course they live in Atlantis, what do you think? Wow. Reminds me of that one level from Banjo-Tooie, I forget his name. Jolly Rogers Bay, I think? Okay, look, a city is not a girl. You know, you should let it choose its own gender identity. So, buildings like this make sense for humanoid creatures that live under the water. Is Cetus, is Cetus Aquaman? You'll see what Cetus is. You know, we'll uh, find out what happens with him uh, near the end of the game. Okay. I'll be at the fish apartments if you need me. Yes, there are fish apartments, by the way. <laughs> you know, right next to the Battle Mausoleum. A long string that has narrow red shapes tied to it floats by. Adam thinks it looks familiar. The what was that I just saw? Have you seen it before? Well, I guess that'll do it for the first part of EcoQuest. Join us next time for more Undersea shenanigans. Bye-bye for now.